Hey guys, how you doing? This is Home Liberty Graphic Designs and today we're going to be sublimating microfiber tiles. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so this time I am going to try to make a quick video, which I never do. <laughs> I never do make quick videos, but this time I am going to try to make a quick video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this picture onto a microfiber uh, towel. And let me give you all the information because I know a lot of you ask me um, about, you know, what I'm using, stuff like that. So for the paper, I'm actually using text print. Um, the printer is an Epson F6370. It's a 44 inch printer. Uh, the ink is the one that comes with that printer. The towels is, uh, I got them at Senmar and the uh, brand is Port Authority. And let me put the, the uh, model number there so you guys can see it. So if you guys want to do um, microfiber towels, there's the, the model number from Senmar. PT48. Double check. PT48. That's the model number if you guys want to use the same towel. This is an 11 by 18 um, towel. So there you go. That's all the information that you guys need. If you ask me those questions, I will not answer uh, questions that are in the video because it's telling me that you guys did not watch the video. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, well, actually I'm going to put the, the uh, picture in here. Let me show you the way that I do it. So I, so I can go like a lot faster. So let me show you real quick how, I do my prep work. Okay, so once uh, once I have it, let me move this out of the way. And let me show you what the towels are gonna look like. This is one that is already sublimated. So that's what the towel is gonna end up looking like. So just to speed up the process, what I do, so I take my picture, make sure that they all look the same. So when you give it to the customer, um, they all going to look the same. What I mean by that is make sure that your tags are all in the same spot. So in this case, the tag is going to be like over there. And it's very easy because on the picture, you know, you can just focus on the one person or the one um, something that is going to make it easier for you to, to make them all uniform and the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... My towel, usually what I do when I print the picture, I usually print it a little big, bigger, but this, the customer sent me this picture and it's already been edited. I cannot do anything else because see how close it is? Especially if you notice on this side, like they actually cut the shoulder off of this girl. So I can't, I can't edit that. It's, it's already, well, I guess I could, but, um, so normally I will oversize it, right? So when I place my towel, in this case, I can have a little bleed and that will be easier for me to sublimate the, the shirt. I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, towel. The reason why I'm saying that is because there's some font or there's some letters over here and they're going to be right at the end of the towel. And if I show you one that is already printed, see how those letters are very, I mean, they're um, right at the end. Over here also, they're like right on the edge. So that's the only thing I'm gonna be focusing on to make sure that I get those letters there. And um, we are gonna have a little bit of, a little bit of a white showing. I'm not worried about that. And then take a piece of tape. I'm gonna put four, four pieces of, uh, four small pieces of tape, just like so. And I'll put this one away. So I go through the entire thing and prep all my work. Now, very important that you um, make sure that this, check the, the, the uh, microfiber towels, make sure that you get all the small pieces of lint. A lot of people use this uh, roller. I don't use a roller because the roller, it actually lifts up more of the fiber that's the reason why I don't use it. Um, I do have it, but 
I don't like using it. So basically I just kind of do what I'm doing right now. Just like that. Get the lint that's um, on top of the towel. And um, that's all I do, basically. Again, because the roller, every time I use the roller, it always lifts up more of that lint. At least in my case, and I don't like that, so I stop using the roller. So again, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna have all the towels just like this, prep them all, so that way when I go to print, they're ready to go. Again. And when you're doing this on the towel, make sure that you're doing it, because the microfibers have a direction. If I go back this way, I'll be lifting the, the, the uh, lint. Let me show you on the, on the one that is already printed, because this one you're gonna be able to see it because it's already printed. If I go this way, it doesn't lift it up and you can tell because the picture doesn't get all distorted and watch this way maybe you uh, I don't know how good you can see it on the video but let me show you what happens it um see all the little white specks now watch I'm gonna go back the other way and those white specks are gonna disappear oops right there so let me do it right now so you guys can see it because I'm going against the the fibers if I go this way see I don't I don't this I don't I don't pull any more of the lint and you'll know what I'm talking about once you start doing this because the, the microfiber or the towel actually feels softer when you go one way than when you go the opposite way so you wanna you wanna keep it all the same way and basically what I'm doing making sure that there's no lint And then just placing it where I can see that the uh, letters are going to appear. And some towels, uh, uh, you're going to notice some towels, like for example on this one, I noticed that it's a slightly bigger than the other ones. Just like, like so. And if you think I'm using too much tape, you know, use the tape according to you know your likings so just like that so let me let me uh, get them all ready I'm actually doing 25 um, what do you call it 25 pictures 25 towels um, let me get them all ready and then we can go to sublimation see like <laughs> this one I know I said I was gonna get them all, all ready but see this one right here the last one that I did, it was way too big. Now, look at this one. This one, I'm getting bleed on top. And on the bottom, the letters are actually exposed. So I got to pull it down because I got to, I got to, I have to, uh, what do you call it? Get those letters. And then see, I'm getting a lot of bleed right here. So that means that that girl is going to be, you know, it's not going to be fully on the towel. So again, let me, let me get all of these ready. And then we can go to sublimation. Okay, so now that we have all of our uh, towels ready to go, um, I'm gonna we're gonna start sublimating. But before we start sublimating, if you guys have a, an oversized press, even a smaller press like this, it's always a good idea to press or dry press uh, one time to get the press, you know, the bottom plan uh, uh, up to. To heat so it's nice and hot and that's what I'm gonna do right now I usually do two passes just let it go for one minute and I'm gonna be sublimating at 380 for right now it says 34 seconds but I'm gonna change it to 45 seconds for this house so 380 for 45 seconds that's what I'm gonna be sublimating at um, guys um, whatever you see me doing on this video like for example you saw me prepping the towels and you saw me using just my hand to get the lint or the extra lint that's on top of the, the towels to get it off i didn't use an actual roller guys if you see me doing something like that it doesn't mean that it's set in stone that that's the way that you have to do it if you guys have your your you know the way that you prefer to do things do them like that 
Not because you see me doing them like that, it means or it has to be done like th that way. That's just the way that I like to work. Um, that's the way I, I you know, it's, that's how I like my, my results. So it doesn't mean that because I did it this way, they have to do it that way. Okay, so if you notice on my press, I only have a piece of butcher paper at the bottom, not at the top. You don't necessarily need it because the transfer paper is actually protecting the top of the press. A lot of people believe that it's gonna bleed through and some papers do bleed. But if you know your, if you know your equipment and you know the, the materials that you're working with, then, um, then take the, prop, the proper precautions, you know. If you know that your paper is not bleeding through and you don't have to protect the top of your press, don't do it, you don't have to. Um, this is just to speed up the process. So, what I'm gonna do is just lay them down. So, you saw me prepping the towel. So, what I'm doing is I'm gonna flip them upside down so that the paper's on top and the towel at the bottom. And the reason why I put the tape is because I want the paper to stay on top of the towel and not to move on me. Now, the paper that I'm using is text print um, adhesive paper or tacky paper. Now, it doesn't actually get tacky all the time. So that's why I put the tape in there. So, which, which kind of brings me to a point, guys. If you guys need to print something oversized like that, and the only printer that you have is uh, either a 13 by 19 or you only have a eight and a half by 11. If you guys need bigger prints, oversized prints, you can always go to our um, Etsy store and we can print those prints for you. So if you want some extra or oversized prints, we actually um, print those. We, we offer that um, the service. So again, if you guys need something like that, um, go and check out our uh, Etsy store and you can find those prints in there. Again, if you only have an eight and a half by 11, then if you need like a 13 by 19, then we can print those for you. I'm gonna let it go for a little longer because this is the first print. And remember, I wanted to bring the printer up to heat. I'm sorry, the press up to heat. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the bottom plan to be as hot as I can. The hotter the bottom plan is, the better your prints are gonna, are gonna come out. So, so, and like I was saying, this is tacky paper. As you can see, I'm grabbing it by the paper, see? And it's not coming off. So, I know some of you are gonna say, well, you got the tape. Here's the tape. And let me remove the other tape. Uh, you can see that it actually grabs on really good. See that? Oops, <laughs> dropped the whole thing. And then if you have a small bleed like I do right now, you probably cannot see it on the video, but I have a small bleed. I'm gonna try to lay down the towel right on top of where the other one was. The other one was. That way I don't have to be using all my uh, butcher paper. So again, like I was saying earlier, if you guys don't like the way that I do uh, my sublimation or, or the way that I do certain things you don't have to do them like that like if you if you feel more comfortable putting another piece of butcher paper on top go ahead and do it it's not gonna hurt anything uh, as a matter of fact if you're sublimating t-shirts you know how we always get that burnt uh, scorch uh, mark on your t-shirt or uh, whenever you're using a smaller press well, to prevent that, put uh, several layers of butcher paper on top and you won't get that scourge. So um, that's actually a good thing um, to, to do. Again, to prevent scorching of the t-shirts. If you add like three layers of paper, you won't burn them. On the other one, I, left, I let it go for a little more. This one I don't have to because my press is building up heat already. And I can go a little faster. And if you guys want to use, or if you want to get one of these presses, there's a link in the description below to where you can buy this one uh, off of Amazon. This one cost me 2,600 bucks, shipping and everything. It's about 
2950 I think. I can't remember, but it's like, let's say $3,000 for this uh, off of Amazon. And if you guys want to get it, you know, you can click in the description below. Uh, it'll take you to Amazon. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, you know, if you have any question about sublimating these microfiber towels, or like I said earlier in the video, if you guys need oversized prints, let us know. Go to our, our, our Etsy store and you can get oversized prints there. Um, if you want anything bigger, obviously let me know and we can print it for you. We do offer those, those um, services. Thank you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure. Like always, stay tuned because on the next video, we're going to make or I'm going to make a clock with this right here. <laughs> so wood, <laughs> I'm going to make a clock and I'm going to put our my name in it. And that's going to be using the laser. So stay tuned because the next video, again, it's going to be us making a clock. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure like always. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. God bless you. And I will see you later. Adios now. Bye-bye.